The leader of the resistance in Panjshir, Ahmad Massoud, asked Russia for help. He believes that the spread of extremist ideology can go far beyond the borders of Afghanistan. The leader of the Afghan resistance in Panjshir, Ahmad Massoud, said that he expects political assistance from Russia and assistance in creating an inclusive government. According to him, Moscow should be interested in stopping the violence, otherwise extremism will spread to Central Asia and the southern regions of Russia. Russian diplomats can organize peace talks between the resistance forces and the Taliban, Massoud said in an interview with RBC. He noted that so far there has been no dialogue with the Russian authorities. I hope that they, Russia, will intervene politically and help avoid an escalation of violence. And this is in their interests, because if extremist ideology is introduced here, it will flare up throughout Central Asia and in the south of Russia, then extremism will be on the rise," Masood said. He noted that the capture of Kabul by the Taliban has become an example for many groups around the world that they can also achieve power, and this carries risks for the security of not only Afghanistan, but also neighboring states. All this can lead to an escalation in the appearance of more terrorists who want to come to Central Asia or destabilize the south of Russia. I am sure that it is in their, Russia's, interests to intervene and help create an inclusive government here," the resistance leader said. According to him, Russia can assist in organizing the necessary negotiations now. I think that Moscow can help hold something like emergency peace talks between us and the Taliban and convince them to come to them. This is what is possible and what will help us," Masood said. He stressed that he has not yet communicated with the Russian side, but he is sure that the diplomats are concerned about the political situation in Afghanistan and will be able to help change the situation for the better. Massoud noted that his supporters do not want Afghanistan to be isolated and not recognized by other states. He stressed that the Taliban do not adhere to democratic values, inclusivity and do not advocate for women's rights. In his opinion, the words of the representatives of the movement differ significantly from the way the terrorist group operates. Ahmad Massoud is the son of the leader of the Northern Alliance, Ahmad Shah Massoud, who was killed on September 10, 2001. He received his higher education in Europe, returned to Afghanistan in 2016 and became the official successor of his father in 2019. The Taliban militants announced the capture of Afghanistan under their control on August 15. They entered Kabul without a fight and promised not to organize reprisals against those who helped the troops of the Western coalition in the fight against terrorists. They also guaranteed the rights of women and journalists in the country. At the moment, the only province in Afghanistan that is not controlled by the Taliban is Panjshir. The vice president of Afghanistan, Amrullah Saleh, announced his power in the province. The terrorists gave the militia an ultimatum, but they refused to fulfill it. On August 22, the Taliban sent several hundred fighters to besiege Panjshir.